Hello, my name is Michael, and in this video I'll be demonstrating two features of the Yaffer interface, the first being the ability to have one editor linked to another, and the other uh, is the ability to have an editor follow the current scene selection. So by default, in a Gaffer graph, each of the three editors, the viewer, the node editor, and the hierarchy view, will follow the graph editor's node selection. As you can see, all three of them are just following whatever is selected in the graph editor. However, in a graph like this, it's very likely that I would want to see the complete scene all at once. And in order to do that, I just do the standard pin, where I pin the output of the parent node to the viewer. Now, when I change my selection, the viewer stays focused on the parent node. Uh, however, it's also possible that I would want to have the hierarchy view and the node editor uh, linked to whatever the viewer is currently following. In order to do that, what I need to do is I need to right click on the pin button, select linked to editor, and then select the viewer. Now when I change the selection, in fact nothing changes because both of these editors are linked to the viewer and the viewer is pinned to the parent node. If I change what the viewer is pinned to, so if I pin it to the group assets node instead, these two editors will follow it. You'll notice that when I linked these two editors to the viewer, the viewer obtained a yellow dot next to its pin icon. That means that it is currently being linked to. And the pin icon, in fact, changed to a link icon for these two editors, which indicate that they are linked to the uh, yellow editor, which in this case is the viewer. In order to unlink an editor, all I need to do is left click the link button, and now it changes back to the default state. The other default behavior when uh, selecting things in a graph is that the scene selection uh, only changes the hierarchy view. So if I select this light, light 4 will highlight. If I select this light, light 2 will highlight. Basically the, the hierarchy view is just showing me what is currently selected. Uh, however, it would be very useful if I could uh, know which one of these nodes is currently being selected because I don't know which light is which. Because if I want to edit this node, I'm going to have to select the correct one and effectively guess correctly. So in order to avoid having to do that, what I can do is I can set this node editor to follow the scene selection of the viewer. So right now we're on light two, and now if I select this light, it will switch to light four. Now I can edit the values directly, and I don't even need to select the node in the graph. I can just select it from the viewer instead. And those were the two interface features I wanted to show you today.